There it is. Good day. I'm Rowena List, professional image organizer and speaker of gettingittogether.ca. Today I'd like to chat with you a little bit about a filing cabinet. You know, it's a good idea to go through your filing cabinet about once a year. When it gets close to tax time, that's usually a good time because you might need to pull out some of your investments or some uh, important documents that need to go off to the accountant. So once you're going through your filing cabinet, I would recommend that you take your investment section and take the previous year out, put it in a bundle and put it where you put the rest of your important documents that you need to save. You know, your tax receipts, your tax returns and anything else like that. Then systematically go through each file and see if you've used anything in that file for the past year. Now this particular filing cabinet we're going through, there's some great personal growth and development information in here, some notes, some tear outs from magazines, that sort of thing. But can you believe it? It's dated from 1998, over 12 years ago. Now my client hasn't even taken a glance at this over those 12 years. So guess where this has to go? Off to the recycling. You know, new information comes in and so much of it now we find on online and so if you're not going to your filing cabinet and using the information that's in there or the documents or pulling out those things, then it's time to purge them. Make room for new information and new things that are coming in and I bet you might even be able to take your filing cabinet and maybe take it down to two drawers. That'll give you some extra room. So if you have any great tips or any more questions in regards to organizing your filing cabinet, your office, whatever it might be, please feel free to email me at rowena at gettingittogether.ca.